Microorganisms that form dental plaque play a key role in the development of caries and its complications. These bacteria quickly break down carbohydrates, generating organic acids that cause mineral breakdown and destruction within tooth tissues, enamel, and dentin. Bacterial toxins penetrate through the dentin tubules to reach the pulp. Once bacterial infection develops, the pulp becomes irreversibly inflamed and necrotic. Subsequently, the infection spreads from the root canals into the periapical tissues, leading to apical periodontitis. Endodontic treatment aims to eliminate infection within the root canal system. Prior to the procedure, the tooth is cleaned to remove dental plaque. If necessary, an appropriate level of anesthesia should be provided. The tooth must be isolated from saliva using a rubber dam to prevent bacterial contamination of the root canal system and to protect the oral mucosa from chemical exposure. Damaged enamel is removed using diamond burrs with water cooling. Infected dentin is thoroughly excised using carbide burrs. Continuous disinfection is necessary to prevent further bacterial penetration into the root canal system and periapical tissues. Direct access to the pulp chamber is ensured. Then, the infected coronal pulp is removed, followed by disinfection. Using rotary nickel titanium endodontic instruments, the infected pulp is sequentially removed from the coronal, middle, and apical thirds of the root canals. As the procedure advances toward the root apex, the canals are continuously irrigated with sodium hypochlorite to eliminate bacteria and debris. To enhance the chemical reaction, irrigant activation is performed. After determining the working length to the root apex, the root canals are shaped by gradually increasing the diameter of the instruments. Special attention is paid to the apical zone to eliminate bacteria from the apical delta and to create an apical stop for the filling material. Once the canals are cleaned, they are dried using paper points or a specialized drying solution. The root canals are filled with heated gutta percha and sealer, while gutta percha portions are compacted using cold pluggers. Adhesive preparation is performed to ensure proper bonding of the restorative material. The enamel and denim are etched with phosphoric acid, followed by application of an adhesive and subsequent polymerization. The tooth is restored using a light cured composite material. To prevent tooth fracture and ensure proper distribution of occlusal forces onto the roots, the tooth is prepared and fitted with an artificial crown. Once the infection is eliminated from the root canals, the inflammatory process subsides and the periapical lesion heals.